One of Spokane's most controversial figures faced a judge today accused of welfare fraud. And Keichi Diallo is better known as her, as her former name, Rachel Dolezal, the previous head of Spokane's NAACP and member of the Police Accountability Committee. While well, she rose to international infamy for admitting she had lied about her race, and now she's facing felony charges. Kicks by Fourth Hawk Hammer was in the courtroom with more, and now he has the more on those changes tonight, Hawk. Huh? Well, Nadine, the charges she faces are uh, thefts in the first degree for welfare fraud, perjury, and false verification for public assistance. She owned up to neither today in the courtroom. Calmly and confidently walking out of Spokane's county courthouse, Nkechi Diallo outwardly showed no signs of regret. Nkechi Diallo? Just minutes prior, she faced a judge charged with stealing nearly nine grand from the state. Those two charges that you never plead them guilty or not guilty, and he plead. Not guilty. State charges indicate her choice to remain in the spotlight became her undoing. According to court documents, the Department of Social and Health Services investigation showed she had claimed an income of only $300 per month. Money, she said, came from friends. But investigators learned about her very public book deal, revenue from which she hadn't reported to the state. State said she had also made money selling art, soap, and dolls, money she also didn't report. All in all, between 2015 and 2017, about a two-year period, Diallo's bank record showed deposits totaling nearly $84,000. Now the state wants back the almost nine grand they say they overpaid her. Money she says she didn't steal. Something she'll have to prove. I will sign the order to have you report to the jail no later than 5 o'clock on July 2nd. She won't be incarcerated, but she'll be fingerprinted and photographed, then released on her own recognizance. But the state wants her to stick around. Remain in Spokane County, commit no criminal law violations, do not possess any non-prescribed controlled substances. Her trial will be this September. And for perspective, KXOI reached out to the Department of Social and Health Services Office of Fraud and Accountability for a little perspective here. They tell me the average fraud case for them is about $10,000, so Diallo's nine grand is just under average for them. They say back in 2017, they recovered $2.5 million from fraud cases, so this is just a blip, but they say every taxpayer dollar counts. Reporting live, Hawk Hammer, KXOI 4 News. Thank you. She's trans race, not transgender. That's a new one, right? Trans race. <laughs> trans race. Oh, I love it.